page is white. Now wave your page again. How does it look to you right now? More contrast. Now take a look at the big print. How does it look now? It's uh, much better, much more clear than before. Wonderful. How does the flower look to you right now? It's got more uh, contrast, more coloration. Wonderful. And let's take the page off. And now tell me, how do the, how does, how do the letters look to you this minute? It's uh, very clear. And how does the flower look to you? It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exactly what balancing the eye means. You use the weaker eye and you put the stronger eye in the periphery. And after you do that, you see that your brain tends to look at small details with no effort. The biggest risk that you may have is that you create a great effort to see details. Don't worry about what you don't see. Just look at the smallest details that you do see and look at smaller details than those. The people who see the best in this world are people in primitive tribes, Bedouins in the desert, bush people in Africa, and they look far, and they look far without trying to see. When you were an infant, you looked only from two feet away at the age of eight weeks. Then as you crawled and walked, you looked farther and farther without making any strain to see. Consequently, you got your great vision. When you lost it, you stopped looking at details. You just demanded from yourself to see them. So don't demand from yourself to see them. Just look and make sure that you activate your weaker eye. Another great aspect of shifting is looking at different distances. Something should be really known to you about the physiology of the eye. The, eye, the ciliary muscles that curve the lens work very hard to see from near, 20 feet or less. Anytime that you see 20 feet or more, the lens is flat and actually the eye is restful. Whenever you read, even if you read an eye chart from distance, and whenever you read the page from near, whenever you look at a computer, you should look far away. As humans, we didn't use to look so much from near until the last century. And so it's very important for us to look from far. And it's also important for you whenever you walk in the street to walk in a conscious way and look at many details. And now some exercises. Tony. Could you please look far at these beautiful mountains and hills? Can you describe me what you're seeing in them? I can see the trees, the um, dry grass with brown color, a uh, house in front of me, some cows. Wonderful. How many cows? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One or two. Okay. Now, Let's repeat the exercise we did before. Put the piece of paper between your eyes and let's give you a piece of paper to wave and wave in front of the right eye while looking with your left. And if in your case it's your left eye which is the strong eye, wave in front of the left and look with the right. But you always wave in front of the strong eye to put it in the periphery while it's always in the center. And the idea is that you give freedom to the weak eye to work. And you wave and wave and wave and wave and wave. And do you still see all that you saw with both eyes? Or is it fuzzier? It's fuzzier. What do you see now? You can still see the tree, the dry grass, and uh, the house. Wonderful. I want you to point at six different points that you're looking at with your finger as a pointer and you look at point A, B and C and so on, point at six different points and then point at six different points at half the distance and then point at six different points close to you and again look far away, engage with that area and point at six different points. This is shifting for you. As you point at those six different points, you're starting to focus on what you can see with your weaker eye. 
When the weaker eye is not working, the stronger eye works very hard to suppress whatever the weaker eye is seeing, which weakens the strong eye and weakens the weak eye. When the weak eye works, then the strong eye will become stronger, and also the weaker eye will become stronger. Now, how do you see the distance right now, Tony? Got more contrast. More contrast in it. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Take the paper off now, and tell me how does the how does the heel look to you? It's a uh, better contrast, uh, more clear, um, just just more pleasant, more more clear to see. Wonderful. Put right now the eye patch over your strong eye. And one thing that Tony does, and I want you to do, is five minutes, four times a day, patch your strong eye to let your weak eye work. Doctors have given up on us, and they said that only kids can improve weaker eyes by patching their strong. But I disagree. I found that adults like Tony, like myself, and many other people, by patching the strong eye, are capable of activating the weaker eye. Now take a look again at the heel. How does the heel look to you? It's um, less clear less with the clear. patch. Yeah. With the patch. And so you're looking at the heel and again point at six different points at the heel. And look half distance and point at six different points at half distance and look from near to just get your brain to focus where your vision is fuzzy and again look far away close your eyes you can take the hand off and visualize that the colors are in more contrast the brightness the bright part of the heel is brighter the dark is darker and the sky is bluer just visualize contrast and that visualization becomes a direct order from your brain to your eye. Now open your eye and take a look at it again. How does the top of the heel look to you? It's uh, brighter with better contrast. Brighter with better contrast. Now, as a transition, take the patch off and put the piece of paper between your eyes and wave in front of the strong eye while looking with the weaker eye at the heel. How does the weaker eye see right now? I can see the tree, I can see the ridge top, uh, but uh, less clear comparing to both eyes. Right. Close your eyes and again visualize without waving that you're waving in front of the right eye or in your case in front of the left eye if the left eye is stronger and that you're looking at different parts of that heel that the heel is very bright in the bright parts dark in the dark parts and that the sky is bluer and now wave your hand again and tell me how does the heel looks to you see a better contrast wonderful now let's take the paper off and how does the heel looks right now it's real bright real bright is it clear uh, it's uh, clearer than before with uh, I can see clear brownish color of the dry land and uh, greenish trees uh, blue skies the whole thing just getting uh, bright yeah. wonderful one thing that you should know that when you look at big and small print, when you look at a chart, and then you look far away, and then you look back at the big and small print, your eye is rested from looking far, and it will see much better what's in front of you and what's nearer. The following exercises, sunning and skying, involve adjusting your eyes to bright daylight. Because we spend so little time outdoors, our pupils have lost some of their flexibility. Instead of our pupils controlling